No, we are going to be talking about Woof. Okay, so you you, oh, no. you remember Woof from last time, right? Now I I watched your I watched that whole stream, the recording of it, and yes. when Woof came up, I like I was eating breakfast, yeah, and I was like, oh, here we God, go. I I think I I had to pause the stream and just like wait to keep watching until after. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's um. It's it was some tough shit. I was going to do a full stream about Woof. Uh but sadly there's not that much stuff about Woof that's like worth mentioning that I didn't already read in the Snake Thing stream. However, I do have something here which uh, from our um our our inside source archive the wolf who says that uh who says that he it's an apology where Woof says that metal music made him fuck dogs to death. Um, so I, I was going to read through what? that. I don't know. I was going to read through that. If you'd like to join me in that wonderful adventure, you're more than welcome to. I would be more than okay. Okay. <laughs> Happy is maybe the wrong term. Maybe not the, yeah, but okay. So bear and bird guys, Banjo Kazooie is finally happening. Oh my God. We uh, did it. We Reddit. Did, <laughs> so, so guys, we did it. We finally, all right. N- enough of that. Uh, now, uh okay so wolf's apology dot pdf now this is well, this is yep. a pretty fucking wow this is long like 10 fucking pages jesus okay uh take it away let's do like paragraph by paragraph all right let's do it okay take it away i said gosh uh, oh i'm, I'm <laughs> sorry i I'm sorry i was still opening i, I was getting to the document uh, okay okay all right I understand your concerns and how difficult it is for you and your team slash friends to believe in my sincerity after everything I did and said. I assure you and promise that I do regret for everything (laughs) I did. I promise that I will not do the things I did ever again. I assure you I'm neither a threat nor a danger. I want to find peace and with your help, leave the past buried like all those bodies so that I can start a new life away from my old life. We can stay in contact for as long as I have internet if you want. I have no problems with that, and we can talk on Telegram if that is okay. I like that. He's trying to talk to the investigators on his weirdo furry app that he uses. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Telegram. I bet they did I bet they did not know what the fuck was going on when they invented that. I gotta say I love this this first paragraph though, where it's like, I promise I regret for what I did. I promise I will never it's just like that is beautiful. Uh Mr. So Redacted. I I I don't see you as my enemy, but I admit I fear you. I wrote this down telling the truth in everything I wrote, but I fear the uncertainty. I don't know what you will say. I confess that I'm not sure what your true intentions are, and if you don't seek revenge on me, as you said, or if all you want is burn me to ashes, even after I said that, I regret for everything. I don't know who to trust and what to think at this point. Uh, Oh, oh my God, he gives us just... Is this a... This is not just an apology. This is a justification. Oh, cool. This is going to be f- wonderful. <laughs> uh, are, are you ready to learn? Um, I'll, I'll take the next like two paragraphs. Yeah, since one paragraph it. is just a sentence. I'm doing my best to help you understand who I'm I and the events <sighs> that led us here. I truly left the wrong. <laughs> I truly left the wrong path and everything I used to be and do. I left darkness behind, and I don't want to return to it in all my days Are on these this Evanescence earth. Evanescence lyrics? What the fuck? <laughs> I have prayed God. I have prayed God. I have prayed God at night, <laughs> asking forgiveness for my evil acts, and have told my closest friend of what I did. I do want to be a new man with all my heart. You saw animal stuff, but I saw more than that. Thinking what? What did he? What more did he see? He saw the Thinking true nature it. of the man behind oh, the animal porn, oh, obviously. Right. Obviously. <laughs> He's, oh, this is some major edgelord shit. I saw more than that. Thinking about it makes me cry because I wasn't able to see the true nature of what I was doing, seeing, and listening. It was like a spell, like two people living in the same body while one could not control the actions of the other. These are terrible metaphors. <laughs> I hate it. 
Uh, to tell the truth, that's a lifestyle that even if you are not caught is a hollow, horrible life. You turn into a monstrosity and everything changes without you even noticing. Before you know it, you have turned into filth and all values and limits are gone. I don't know how to describe it. It's too hard to explain. I will explain how it started and how it ended. <clears throat> Here we go. Great. Please. Thanks. The only... <laughs> I feel like you just handed like a rotting piece <laughs> of steak to me. It's like, here you go. All, yeah. all the better for the fucking, apparently. <laughs> oh, I'm God. sorry that oh, I said that. I'm Jesus really sorry fucking that Christ. I fucking said that. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm Your not. Your apology is as hollow as Woof's is. <laughs> you're right. Okay. Continue <laughs> with your only steak. Reason I just say, the only reason I decided to stay and to message Woof's friend was because... Um, <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. Um, my friend. So the only reason I decided to stay and message my friend was because I realized that what I did was wrong beyond all scale for evil things. Oh, God, this syntax and wanted to apologize with him and let him know that I regretted for what I did. Why him? He always was very good to me. And I wanted to talk one last time with him. We were friends in not distant past, very good friends. I'd stay up all night, not going home to just video chat with him and was awesome. Also wanted to let my old friends know that I was sorry about everything and that I feel I disappointed them all with my actions. Guys, I have oh, friends. This... I'm cool. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's like you're, you're like the investigator of this thing and you get this letter from this sick fucker. And it's like, I had a friend and I would video chat him and he was very awesome and cool. What? <laughs> Shut I the think, fuck up, dude. I want <laughs> I, I want to keep I, I'm kind of I want to keep an eye on something as we keep reading, because. It could just be the like English is his second language, right? Yeah, he's Cuban, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Cuban. Um, even so. This feels like writing at an elementary school level. That, Somewhat, like, and yeah. I understand, you know, unfamiliarity with the language. Um, that, that can explain part of it. But the way that he is engaging with these ideas is so underdeveloped. Yeah. This person feels stunted. Yeah, I see what you mean, where it's sort of like, we were friends and he was cool and yeah. and I feel bad and bad. And it's like, it's very simple concepts. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if friend still sees me as a friend, but I truly thank him for taking the time to read my letter. He is someone I'll never forget. I hold good feelings for him and my old friends, although I know I'll not talk to them again. Friend and my friends that I met years ago were very good to me and they will be in my memory for it. Why does he like he's said the thing about in my memory forever or whatever, like twice. This is very it's, like repetitive. He's, he's padding it out like this sounds like a letter that you'd be assigned to write in the third grade. Yeah, it's like double. Like, it, I, I know that you were I know you were being facetious with like the way that you were reading like a child, but it if you read it that way, it sounds perfectly right. He yeah. is someone I'll never forget. <laughs> I hold good feelings for him and my old friends, although I know I'll <laughs> not talk to them again. Yeah. Right? It's like he's it, reading it in works. front of the class. Exactly. I'll take like next three pair or I'll, I could go to the end if you want. Um, Just, you do the next two. Yeah. OK. Yeah, that works. I'm thinking like until the slashes. The slashes like yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. I said to him when he asked, he can confirm that I just say sitting here waiting for the hammer to fall full force on me. <laughs> don't go full force. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard Wolf can be pretty rough. Oh, God, stop. Oh, no. I'm not in. I'm not in position to ask for anything, but I'd like these messages slash emails to remain private and that any of this will never be published in public. Well, it's a little late for that. <laughs> I will also include a message slash letter I sent to my friend Dave days ago where I explained many things and apologize for everything. I don't know who the friend is. I'm just inputting a name. 
That letter was also an apology to my old friends that I met many years ago before I took the wrong path. <laughs> that letter was the result of my conclusions after analyzing everything I had done to that day, both good and bad, and decided that the path I had taken was not Get the right the thing and not what I wanted for my present life and the future. Guys, this is the wrong path. I think he, I think he's on the wrong path. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this was my letter slash mess. Oh, boy. We got quite the... Like you take it chunk of all yours. Okay. This was my letter slash message to him. This message was written. So now we're talking to the fucking, okay. The friend. All right. The message was yeah. written to clarify some things and to apologize. I apologize. I beg you read it through. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm just explaining my sad story. Oh yeah. I'm fucking weeping for you, dude. Just <laughs> so, so tear F, F's in chat. Everybody wolf is sad. Okay. Hold, hold on. I, I, I want to point something out. We're two pages in. Yeah, this is like a 10 page fucking manifesto. This is some shit. Um, so first off, I want this message to stay private. This is only for you. You will do. Well, wait a second. He says it's only for you. And then he sends it to this guy. What a fucking liar. Goddamn. Uh, <laughs> you will do whatever you want in the end, but since this is a personal message, I'd like to keep it to yourself. I'd, I want to apologize for many things. I have known you for some time now, and we were good friends. We used to talk a lot, and I did enjoy our talking. This is, you're, you're right. It's very simplistic. It's just like, we talked, and we were friends. Yeah. Uh, it was me who didn't have much to say most of the time, but still loved to talk with you. I don't see you as my enemy. He said that to the other guy, too, and don't have bad feelings for it. Why would... Like, if you were the friend of this guy, and you're like if you're this guy's friend and you're getting this like apology or whatever, why would you be like, yeah, you see me as an enemy. Like that's such a weird way of thinking where you have to like phrase it that way. Like, no, you, I don't know. I don't have bad feelings for you, but circumstances most likely have made you hate me at this point. You mean like you fucking, I wonder if this is the friend who owned the dog that he like fucked. Oh that, God. That, Cause there, there was that ch lovely chat. Log. Yeah about the yes. friend's dog that he like had alone for a bit. I wonder if this is this friend. Uh, I've done bad things. Uh, I want to apologize for that. I'm apologizing about everything. I feel really bad because I disappointed many good friends like redacted among others. I'll never forget so many years ago when I met you redacted. I said, I said to them that I didn't have any friends to talk with and they made a small group and invited me so that we could talk, share things and enjoy the best each one of us in the group had to offer. I saw as the group grew up with new members like redacted. I don't know. I'm if so he glad still that around. he's making so many friends in the SCP foundation. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice that he joined the Illuminati. Don't know if he's still around, but his comments were funny. I remember they wanted to mail me some money for my birthday. I didn't say much at the time, but their generosity and friendship was heart touching. And is something I have present in my mind to this day and you know go ahead this uh, this person is saying that what they did is bad and evil but they aren't engaging with it in any way i i, I don't think that yeah. this person actually understands what they did wrong right they're just saying oh it was bad and evil it's like how yeah this it's is like so, again he's this saying is so what surface the, level the surface level thing is that he needs to say to feel to seem like he feels remorseful but yeah, he's not addressing why he fucked up in any meaningful way. I, yeah, and it also like, it's this is like it's, abuser speak. It's very like, nar I, I don't I don't know about narcissistic, but it's very like it's all about him and his friends and all the stuff. Like, what about the fucking dogs you decapitated, dude? Yeah, what about that shit. So this guy. Uh, I, you mentioned at the beginning, like this was supposed to be a private correspondence. But the moment that this guy thought that it would make him look good, he broke that. Yeah. Right. Like this is for, private. For sympathy. But then, yeah, he's he's essentially acting as a character witness to himself. Um, and he's but he's showing by sharing this that he is willing to break yeah, like, personal contracts with his friends the whole, to make himself like, look fucking good. first three sentences or whatever in this this paragraph are like this is only for you keep it private it's like does that only apply to the friend i guess not you you your rules don't apply to you okay yeah they must hate as well and i understand why 
I just wanted to say that they have a special place in my memory and heart. I'm sorry that things ended up this way. I wasn't like this when we met years ago. I stepped into the dark side, led by curiosity and a rumor of places where that which you'd think was impossible was actually possible. But Satanism? What? What, I did even mean? what is he talking about? I did search in secret, and after some time, came across places so dark that many would have nightmares for the rest of their lives if they could see what's in there. Oh, he found my Reality YouTube channel. Would awesome. <laughs> Reality would turn unreality, and any concept of what good and evil is would just vanish. There were no boundaries, no limits. I was shocked by what I saw, and the more I saw it, the more I got into it. This I, is like a villain speech. Yeah, but it's so, it's specifically, it's like a, like a JRPG villain speech. Like, it's really over it the is. top, and it's all about good and evil and reality and unre unreality. It's like, come on, dude. Can, can, can I read the paragraph one more time like a JRPG villain? <laughs> sure. Please, please. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have the perfect song for this. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. What are you a... playing? Well, this was what I was going to start the stream with because the guy's name... This isn't Cepheus, but it, okay. I was going to start the stream with some, some classic uh, uh, FF7 music. And... Okay, go for it. All right. They must hate me as well, and I understand why. I just wanted to say that they have a special place in my memory and heart. I'm sorry that things ended up this way. It wasn't like this when we met years ago. I stepped into the dark side led by curiosity and a rumor of places where that which you think was impossible was actually possible. I did search in secret, and after some time came across places so dark that many would have nightmares for the rest of their lives if they could see what's in there. Reality would turn on reality, and any concept of what good and evil is would just vanish. <laughs> there were no boundaries, no limits. <laughs> I was shocked by what I saw, and the more I saw, the more I got into it. Ooh. <laughs> This is the part where the hero is supposed to go, I'll never join you! But instead he's just like, ooh, 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 kinky. Uh, the I think dark world is something <laughs> peculiar, <laughs> you know. Yeah, the moment going. you find it, your soul rips in half. A part of you hates it and wants to leave it, but the other part wants to embrace it and stay. An inner fight takes place in you, like two animals fighting. <laughs> <laughs> to animals fighting, yes. <laughs> the problem is that after some time, seeing things so hellish, you start to see it as just something else, not paying special interest to it anymore. And if you even see others doing dark things, it won't cause any effect on you. Feels like if a dark spell had been cast upon you. I can't describe it any other way. Now, the recent defense had a good effect on me, albeit a painful one. Reading through posts of people who found leaked content realized that some of the things that were done, some of the things done were horrible and cruel. I'm not as good of an actor as you, shut up. Beyond any possible scale. Their posts made me see things from a different perspective. The perspective of normal, loving people made me realize that without... Well, okay, so now he's kind of, now he's kind of like, going over what he's done in a way yeah yeah he's kind of diving into it a bit but uh he turned into a monster i was a lurker for the most part in all that time only did two acts do bad acts for someone else contrary to what most people believe only i did not two. Only, only two only two guys well what does that Just mean two. what 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 do we quantify like bad act like i put away i took some pizza pockets out of my car cart today and left them on a shelf and they're supposed to be frozen i felt pretty bad about that but i feel like that's not what he's talking about uh but <laughs> what made it bearable to some degree was seeing people happy for what i had done which made me feel like it was nothing to worry about and the fact that both animals were stray in a very so no, bitch oh, no bitch <laughs> Don't you justify this shit? I'll ta take him to church, friend. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. People's comments made me see the world from my former perspective and broke the spell. The dark places are now gone. And just like those places, I'm leaving my old life in the past. 
I'm starting a new life away from everything and will not look back into anything dark in all my days. I promise. From now on, I want to have a normal life like a normal person and try to forget the past as best as I can. I promise I, I will not do the things that I have done again. It's so empty. It is. It's so empty. It's, but it's like, it's it's interesting. Like, I made the joke earlier that it's like Evanescence lyrics, but it really feels like that kind of try-hard, like, edge kind of deal, where it's like... I don't know. It, 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 it feels like that combined with one of those songs with, like, um, like an auto-tuned rapper apologizing to his girlfriend for oh, cheating yeah. on her. <laughs> yeah, I had, I, I had the thought. It kind of reminds me of, like, a YouTube apology video. Except it usually does. in those, they have a dog for sympathy, and I don't think that would help Wolf <laughs> oh my so much. God, dude, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I made mistakes and was taught a lesson, lost my friends, and will surely have lots of... I don't know if I need to keep reading it like this, but the song is still going, so it's fine. Troubles <laughs> coming my way in the near future. Anyways, I just wanted to apologize for everything and say goodbye to my friends. See ya. See ya, pals. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the music here. <laughs> Yeah, that was it, pretty it, good. It, I think the chat enjoyed the music. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. You, that was, it was a one, good. It was a wonderful reading on your part. Um, the, oh, thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> this this whole like letter within a letter reads like an elongated Chris Chan stress sigh. Yeah, somebody said that it reminded re reminded them of uh, his letter to Megan. Yeah, which is a kind, yeah, a little bit like that. So this is a, one. The, here's a paragraph about our uh, section about stories of him and dogs. This ought to be exciting. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, we're gonna. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he goes into how? Oh, oh okay. god! Are you still down for this, dude? <laughs> dude, we're not even halfway through. I have. Oh, I might need more tea. Uh, I mean, I might need more weed. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, you take the first two paragraphs here. Yeah, sure. Want to tell you some stories and a bit about me and dogs. As I said before, I was always an animal lover. Oh, this is like the supervillain backstory. Yeah. As I said before, I was always an animal lover in the right way. What? I was born and raised countryside, surrounded by animals and loved animals since a short age. Loved and took care of countless animals in my childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. I took care of dogs for the most part. Most, mostly dogs that had been neglected by my neighbors. Helped them in any way I could, but was frustrating at times because many owners would not support what I was doing and saw animals die for no reason. <sighs> I don't understand. Go ahead. I, no, I just, I don't, I love an animal lover in the right way. I Okay, no, I'm just right I'm just way. I'm just a little bit caught up on that. Sorry. I'm having a uh, just a minor case of a brain aneurysm. It's fine. Someone I no, knew, I know, right? It <laughs> it doesn't hit you. It doesn't hit you all at once, does no. it? No. It's like a it's like easing into a, a hot acid bath. Uh, um it <laughs> Someone I knew, a neighbor next to my grandma's house had two beautiful Doberman pups. Uh, I loved them. They were so elegant and kind, always up for jumping, playing, and running all over the place. One afternoon, the female got a horrible, horrible beaten only because she stood up on her hind legs and stole some food item from the table. You know, I, I got to say, I don't know if you're if you are familiar with the 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 scammer people, but uh, this reads like scammer emails. Please, sh sir, I I, ass I assure you that I trust you with the monies. I will give you the monies, <laughs> sir. Every, I will furnish you with every available information. Um, so I, I actually, before you keep going, I wanted to mention something. Okay. I, I, I suspect that his apology reads a lot like abuser speak, right? Like, I'm sorry, I'll change. I'm different now. And then, you know, the per like he says, I'm so I just wanted to say goodbye. And he's expecting his friends to come back and say, no, don't worry. I forgive you. This is classic narcissist. Yeah. And, um, uh, codependent looking for like behavior. Yeah. I, I'm not, I, I want to, I want to say I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a therapist, but 
boy, does that rhetoric smack of that. Yo, Jake, like, Paul, you're a sociopath. Idea. Okay. Um, it, <laughs> it, <laughs> but, but it really no, does you're right. feel that it has that, it has that sort of um, narcissistic cadence. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It kind of reminds me of like Onision stuff to an extent. Um, when are we, yes. get, when yes. are we getting the down the rabbit hole on Onision, you fucker? I, I actually addressed this on Twitter. I, I don't want to do Onision because uh, I don't think yeah. I can make him an interesting story. Yeah, it's another one where it's not all that sympathetic for it. Well, well uh, it's a th there's no evolution. Like it, it would just be every yeah. section would just be the same thing over again. Onision does something terrible to someone who like who he cares about or who cares about him, you know, cares about, quote unquote, yeah. someone close to him. Onision does something terrible to someone close to him. Um, and like next section, Onision uh, does something terrible to someone close to him. Next section, Onision does something terrible to <laughs> one of his fans. And he's, next section, yeah. Onision does something terrible to another one of his fans. <laughs> Onision Just tries constantly. to start a cult. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. There's, there is more than, there is more than enough Onision videos, but, uh, but yeah, he's, he, he almost seems quaint by comparison, you know? It's like last time on the last stream, I was like, remember back in the day when we just thought K was, was the funniest shit? Like Kay's cooking <laughs> and her bad like like meatballs or whatever, and now that just seems like a warm, like comforting hug. It's 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 wonderful. Um, where where did I leave off here? Uh, so the female got a horrible beaten. Uh, she stole some food item from the table. Uh, suffice to say, she came bleeding, uh, and I wanted to beat the owner really bad, but my mom didn't let me. This was when I was in high school. One day she got sick with gastroenteritis and her owner left her to die. I offered my savings to buy her in hopes to take, the, uh, to, take to the vet and save her, but her owner said no, and she died lying against the fence. The male was killed some months later when they hit him with their car. The way he, the way he says, like, the female, the male is another one of those things that I noticed. Like, um, I don't know if you saw the video I did about the necro zoo guy who talked about, like, females exist only to mock me. The, <laughs> the way that they do that shit with the, where they're, like, the female, the male, it's like, it's like, it's like they're, an op, uh, they're, they're doing an autopsy or some shit. Um, the male well, was... Well, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I, I was going to say, that this is kind of a peek into his thought process, right? Like, yeah. the fact that he's thinking about it in terms of female and male sort of shows where his focus is in his head, and he doesn't realize that it's slipping out. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of those big red flags. The male was killed some months later when they hit him with their car. They didn't. Who's they? They didn't take uh, the the uh, family. Oh, the owners. Oh, oh, the dog. One afternoon, yeah, the female uh, the, got the, the, the yeah. They didn't take the time. Um, the uh, okay. owners didn't take the time to take them to the vet. I, I see. Uh, they didn't take the time to take him to the vet. At least I stayed there with him till the end. I never forgot them. Their names were Shira and Simba. As a tribute to their memory, I put two SS after my name. Um, <laughs> I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> um, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's also a Nazi fur. Maybe it's a double meaning, you know? It's like, it's like, hey, my name is Deadwing Dork. I have a dead wing. I also like the album from Porcupine Tracy. It's like it works on multiple levels. Uh, oh, I didn't even think about that. Dead wing. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, should should I do the next one or oh do you want to do the next two? Go ahead and take the next one and I'll okay. take the next one and the one um, after that the first breed that i had was a stray doberman she had a tvt commonly known as a venereal tumor that had not been treated for years and therefore she was in pretty bad condition when i found her she was active and all but had a hole as wide as a fist in her shoulder what and her parts were in bad condition okay now her i know that they're i know that they're they were talking about like cutting holes in dogs in the last stream and surgically produced holes i think was the term yes so i've i'm wondering if that's what this is or if he's this is a completely unrelated thing i don't no, know I, I think i think it's like medical right okay i think i think that this, this could is just be an not... excuse for why like i don't know but um I, I feel like there's some sort of he's trying to like explain it away to an extent where he's like oh well it was a sick dog and she had this and that wrong with her <clears throat> And like that yeah. makes it okay or I, I something. Yeah, I, I want to see where this is going because like what nothing about this so far has vindicated him. He's just like 
said, I like, like, th- all this has amounted to was, I really like dogs. <laughs> I really <laughs> like dogs. It's like, it's like, you keep saying you like dogs, but that's kind of the problem here. She lived around a trash yard where she'd feed on rotten food and the like. One afternoon after I saw her, I brought up a pizza that I brought that I bought for her, and she loved it. That simple act marked the start of our friendship as I started buying pizzas for her almost on a daily basis. Wait, feeding pizza to a dog? That's not good. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's not... A, a you know great, what? Amongst I mean, the it, things that Wolf has done to dogs, I think the pizza is probably fine. Yeah. yeah we're, <laughs> we could forgive I, the pizza. I, uh, okay, well... Uh, yeah, that's I, I'm with you on that one. Uh, she later moved after me and made sort of nest in an empty space full of trees next to my home, and I made a wooden house for her to keep her dry from rain and fresh from the sun. She lived there, and I fed her with dog meat, egg... What? Wait, what? He fed the dog dog meat? What was that noise? She lived there, and I fed her with dog meat? As in, like... Maybe he means like, yeah, like, but I don't know. Did he make the dog cannibalize other? What the fuck? I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out dog (sighs) meat as in like meat. Is is there something in Cuba? Guys, is there anyone from South like from Cuba? Like or the, you know, the area, just that culture. Do they have? Do they have like if you go to the meat market, I, I I have a theory, like maybe you go to the meat market and there's meat that's like not that they don't want to sell. And so like they have that as dog meat. Maybe they label it. Or maybe I, that's I wonder just if like it's a rough a translation thing. of like, yeah. like food for dogs. That's like in a can. But yeah, th- there there are a few things that I think might be like, you know, English sen- second language things that I've noticed so far. He means wet food. I, I don't know. Wet I, food? I, I'm, cons- okay. I'm just concerned by the term dog meat. Maybe he's just a big fan of Fallout, but... Mm. No, I, I definitely... I, I definitely had a what moment. She lived there, and I fed her with dog meat, egg, and vegetables every day, making her gain some weight. My mom... Oh, her feeder. <laughs> Sorry. My mom didn't like her with her wounds, but she agreed to accept her at home if I could cure her. Took her to the vet, but they said the cancer was too advanced to do anything, so I did have her and made her as... Oh, ha- saying, so I did mm-hmm. have her. You know, you know the other meaning of have her. Mm-hmm. And made her as happy as I could for as long as was possible. No, guys, you don't get it. She was happy too, I promise. <laughs> I picked up another stray sometime later and called her Schwartz. She was a Doberman mix and a really happy girl, all black and tan with a tail like a pointer, but shorter and large ears folded back like bat wings. By happy, I mean a dog that is hyper active and loves uh, running and going out for walks. Schwartz was how I named her and we were very happy. I miss those days. So this whole entire paragraph basically amounts to I had a dog named Schwartz and we were happy and I named her Schwartz and we were happy. <laughs> like God, it it really is just an elementary school pro- like paper, like paper, an essay. It's it's amazing. Um she passed she passed away because my mom made me fix her and she got tetanus, most likely to reused blades slash needles and stuff. Is Oh my god. It's Okay. Uh... I something I have noticed a lot is people in general, right? In general, people tend to do things, like do something that they want or like they want something and then afterwards they come up with an ethical reason to justify it. Here, he doesn't like that doctors are removing the genitals from dogs because then he doesn't get to play with them. But here he's saying that um it's like getting your like removing the genitals of dogs can kill them like and that's why he's against it Mm, totally (laughs) our vet clinics are usually located in garages and places that are not very suitable for such activities okay so i can actually understand that i cried lots when she got sick and passed away i did everything in my power to save her do do we believe this Mm, like i don't know i kind of Everything this person says is suspect. Everything he says is suspect. Yes. But I just, I don't know. It's, it's like, do we feel like he has sort of, do we feel like he thinks he's doing something right or, or something? 
or like he's justified it to himself. I get that he's kind of trying to justify himself to an, uh, to this investigator here, but like, is does he believe this? I don't know. I don't think that it's a matter like th- this is tactical. Sending this letter was a tactical decision. Definitely, yes, but I'm just Remember wondering. I, I mean, yeah, but I just I'm wondering if like any of this like he his the next paragraph he goes off on uh, dog being a dog person and all this shit. I could continue telling stories of dogs that I had, but I don't think you are interested in stories. Some of the best and most loyal friends I had I've had were dogs. They have loved me with everything. and uh, Yeah, they've loved you in quite a few ways, sir, and have been the only ones that have welcomed me wagging tails when my family and everyone else has turned their back on me. W- wagging. That have welcomed me wagging tails. Now That have welcomed me with wagging t- I think he missed a whiff. I think he missed with a whiff, tails. but it's also possible yep. that he's one of those furries who like wags to say hello. So that's also a possibility. Mean, hey, I didn't know I, I could po- I didn't know I could hate Wolf more. Um <laughs> Asterix wagging tail asterix. <laughs> colon three. <laughs> Ooh woo. <laughs> Uh, I've done the same for my dogs. I've been loyal to them day and night. They are my pack. When bad things happen and you don't know where to look, my dogs are the only ones that have been there for me. I really mean it. I'm a dog person. I love dogs, even if my recent acts seem to state the opposite. You know, I know there's been some some talk about me, you know, beheading dogs, but I really love dogs. Like, I, how? I just said that I did. That's all the proof you need. Shut up. That's one. Deadwing. Deadwing. Yes. I hate you because I love you. <laughs> well, you know what? I walked into the door. It's fine. I, I, <laughs> it's, it's really, really ha- it's really it my has fault. that feeling. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it has that feeling, doesn't it? Guys, Frederick Knudsen just told me he loved me. <laughs> 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 OK, um, I guess this is one. Yeah, this is one paragraph that's like all right split into two i was that. not into anything dark some months ago a proof of this is the fact that i shared all sort of personal information with my friends both furs and zoos i did not have any secret at the time nothing to be afraid of my nature is to be a very communicative friendly person who likes to talk with friends and share anything all right guys uh-huh. if you have to describe yourself like this if you have to say you are something you are not that thing because it should be self-evident. Yeah. And also, if you say, I am like, a very nice and understanding person. N- that if you have to say it, then you aren't. You know, you're completely right. Now that I'm thinking about all of the women I've encountered who have said, I am a really chill person. And then it's like, they're it, like the yeah. most uptight person. Actually, the the uh, necro zoo guy, I remember in that uh, video, he there one of the things that he said in his uh, in like some some pro uh, pen pal site or something. He said that mm-hmm. he was like a cool, chill person. And I'm like, mm, yeah, like likes to have fun and enjoy his time <laughs> doing the things that he does. Uh, huh. great. Wonderful. Um, uh, let's see from pics of what I cooked for dinner last night to the beautiful landscapes in the mountains. What? He said, I'm, he a likes to share everything. Fr- I'm a, f- Oh, so like he's trying to get sympathy by saying that he's an Instagram bitch who posts food selfies. <laughs> what is that? From pics of what I cooked for dinner last night to the beautiful landscapes in the mountains. I've been sharing stuff for years. This tells you that I had nothing to hide. What? Had I been into dark things before, I'd never shared any real life info with them. Yeah. So you posted Wait. pictures of mountains. So you that means you don't rape dogs. OK. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> what the fuck are you even saying, dude? Rem- remember, this is like this is a letter to like an investigator. Yeah, like to a- an inv- to inv- to people investigating him. He's saying it, this is like Streisand effect times a thousand. Don't look there. There's nothing there. I promise. I really like dogs. There's nothing there. Please don't look. Well, I mean, he is saying that. Uh, I don't know. I think I think what he's saying is like I had nothing to hide. I, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, it's it's just trying to, like, obfuscate, like, stuff that's obviously there. 
but I mean, oh, there's so much boy. stuff that has already been said and like proof proven that I, I don't know why you'd even care at that point. I like how it's it's it is like he's trying to justify or like get sympathy because he has social media or something mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, right. I saw a bike the other day with a pink color and I took a picture. That means I'm not a weirdo anyways. No, see, like, that's just it, right? What this tells me is this person clearly does not understand what's wrong here. He's saying what's he's saying that he's sorry. He's saying that he's that like the things that people are telling him that he did badly. But I don't think he understands what he did, like what about he did was wrong. Yeah, I I think that is that is pretty clear. Um, so I'll do the next two here. Uh, you get to oh, you get to read out some fun band names. Yeah, I'll do the next two after the slashes. Oh, this, good. This is when he starts to say that metal music is why he's a bad person. Um, this is how my path okay. into the dark started and how it ended. Oh, hang on. We need music for this part again. Hang on. Oh, my God. We, we you know what we need. <laughs> how the, my path into the dark. We need the metal version of One Winged Angel. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, I... Oh this is how my path into the dark started, and how it ended. This is my true story, and I hope this can serve to prevent others from following my path. A path that leads to self-destruction and pain for oneself and others. This is like a speech from Anakin Skywalker. This seriously feels like something out of Revenge of the Sith. Mr. Redacted, if you want to understand what made me do the things I did, here it is. <clears throat> All right. I felt curiosity for dark things after hearing rumors of hidden places where things one would never believe could happen were actually real. Some called it Wonderland. Heard of places where reality would turn into unreality. Heard stories of something called Dark Web or Deep Web. I had heard about it in movies, but never in real life. Anyway, I started my search for those places in secret and eventually found mirrors of those places on Telegram. What? I saw all sorts of things that I will not mention here and that I'd rather have never seen. I was introduced to sick music like Bush Pig, Snuff Porn Gore, <laughs> Butcher's Harem, and other very dark music. I think my friend Gabe posted a, a picture of Snuff Porn Gore's album cover the other day, and uh, it's a good <laughs> thing we have a Not Safe for Work channel. Um, I came to places like Redacted. Sorry, what were you going to say? <laughs> I was going to say, that, um, if any, I, I think what this person is talking about is Gore Grind. Um, yeah. th there's a great oh like shit called page fire is it, is, wait is that a i a, think zara a, had in chat has been asking me to talk about shit core on on uh on stream or something and this is kind of what this sounds like yeah it's um it, i, I want to give a little shout out to a very like to a small youtube channel that deserves more attention go to page fire um they have a great video on like how to make gore grind and I, I i hate that they made something that sounds legitimately like the stuff they're talking about because they're actually good right like these people are really good at making music but then they use that to like make this shitty niche metal i mean like i i have some some respect for uh music that's that's like you know really fucked up in a way that makes you kind of like question the person's sanity like, say what you will about Kanye West, but I kind of like that that's something that he does with his music is like, are you all right, dude? Do you, do you need help? <laughs> yeah. I like that. Um, but I, then I, it I, also attracts some people to it that don't like they're not into it for the artistic value. They're into it because of the for sure. surface level. No, shit. I, I, I appreciate it on on the on the level that you're talking about, for sure. I have to say, I really like this part here that says I came right. to places like redacted. I, what yeah <laughs> what was there that's that's very exciting um you take the next two i guess oh no but but there, there's stuff oh i i want to do i want a few paragraphs if okay. you don't mind you, you take the next two uh, paragraphs you know and then what? can i have like a little bit more you uh, because uh, you want me take the next two 
Yeah, yeah. You okay. take the next two, and then can can I have a little bit of a chunk? Because I I wanna I wanna go full anime villain again. You know, you do like, it. I just I need to f- so I need to find more music. But go for it. <laughs> those and other yeah. places are on Telegram and are real. In all those months, I found a few animal groups compared to the darker <clears throat> ones. I was in shock when I saw what was in those places. If any of you have been there, you will know what I talk about, and I don't just mean about animals. Yeah, we just talked about snake thing. Okay, take it away, dude. All right. I saw people so dark that animal cruelty would seem like child's play compared to the things they did. I saw people who would self-inflict mutilation and wounds in their own bodies with their own hands and cutting tools. I saw a video of someone who removed his own parts Artists of flesh, as I was told they called themselves. I saw all kinds what? of pics about dark places, rituals, blood, gore, <laughs> death, things that it is best not to look at, and music that I wish I had never listened. I was told, if you want to find Wonderland, you must go all the way down the rabbit hole. Hey! hey! Everybody go sub to Frederick Newton. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it great when a zoo sadist shouts out your YouTube channel? (laughs) (laughs) I'm getting the audience that I want. Artists of flesh. Okay. Continue. They didn't say that Wonderland would brand my soul. Wonderland should actually be called Hellland. (laughs) I was told many things like light blinds your eyes. Darkness enlights your mind. What? I was told many things that twisted my mind and personality. It was a world of depravity and insanity beyond any conception a normal person can have. No, I have to. No, I have to. I have to say, the light blinds your eyes, darkness enlightens your mind, or enlights your mind. The first, the mind. first thing that came to mind was a noble heart embiggens the smallest man. It does, yeah. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, it does. Oh my fucking god. Those places and people had an effect on me. My soul was ripping in half. A part wanted to desperately leave. The other wanted to stay. Was a mix of curiosity slash hate for those things, but was much more and deeper. I was conflicted with myself. A big internal struggle took place in me day and night, like two opposing forces, like two wolves inside of me. No, I'm kidding. Like two penises frauding inside of a dog. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it there. That was a thing in the last stream. Some guy was into, like, cutting open holes in dogs, but he didn't know what the fuck frauding was. I don't know, dude. Right. No, I remember that. Every time I'd ask about it, they'd say it was normal and that would pass away eventually. Eventually. I told to myself it was just my head playing tricks on me because of what I was seeing, and after some time, things like gore, death, and all kinds of darkness seemed as normal as looking at a fruit hanging from a tree. What? It was not like I wanted to do any of that in real life, but the shock effect of those things once had in my person was now gone, replaced by just apathy. Or maybe indifference, if that is the right word. <laughs> God, his writing is so bad, and I'm yeah. doing my best here. I, I'm the, really the, I'm the really line trying. about the fruit hanging from a tree was like some really reminded me of something I would have written as like a ten year old, where I was like, yeah. "What's something that I can use as a what is it called a a, a, a meta simile or something a, s- a semaphore? A, a let meta, me me- <laughs> uh, let me do one of those. A metaphor, <laughs> yeah." I, so it's like metaphor. something, yeah, it's like something I would have thought was a funny metaphor back in when I was a baby. I, I know what the word metaphor is. I was being a baby, but yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> okay, okay. it's like some grade school shit. It's amazing. Um, continue though. Oh, oh, you, I, I was going to pass it off to you. Oh, you okay. Like I'll do, I'll do the next couple. I still had good feelings in me. Still loved animals. I still had loyalty to my true friends and the like, but my indifference to gore, blood, and death increased and indifference became obvious. Also started spending more time away from my good old friends from Telegram, the ones I talk about above. They are amazing people! 
I would spend more time <laughs> alone at times. I was changing. I could notice, but I could not find out what it was. This is starting to remind me of the edgy Spider-Man in Spider-Man 3. Like, I was changing. Oh, <laughs> there were several dark groups and channels. Many were public at first, but became private or secret sometime later. I didn't go to those places looking for anything specific other than rare pictures and music, but after some months of brainwash, my mind had changed. Oh, he was on the Unicol Unicron brainwash program. Uh, although I didn't know it, <laughs> I had been molded to indifference for what I would find later. I was a wanderer for the most part, a lurker when one day someone posted a video of animal stuff. I love the way he phrases it as animal stuff. Animal stuff. No, he, he's... Remember, he's trying to make himself look good, and he's trying not to He doesn't want to mention that it's, like, a dog's beheading or whatever. It's, like, yeah. it's just animal stuff. It's just, it's animal just stuff. frolicking in the park with the puppies. Playing frisbee. Um, so. I only recorded awful stuff for other people twice. <laughs> um posted a video of animal stuff, which was different to others that I had seen involving humans. It was after someone mentioned the word animal referring to the video that I understood what animal cruelty is. This new topic caught my curiosity as I had seen dark things with humans, but never with animals. It was that what opened Pandora's box and led to my demise. You know, I'm trying to, my best to give this like some, some flair. And then he says, it was that what opened Pandora's box. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> okay. You, you go for like the next two or three. I, I, yeah. I'll take the next two paragraphs. Okay. Also, I, I'd, I'd like to point out, this is just excuse, like, yeah. right? Like any normal functioning human being sees this shit and is like, oh my God, no. It's right? so, like, it's, I, it's a very theatrical over the top excuse. Yes. Um, yeah, where, th there, there's something very different. Um, his, his argument, I, I, his like excuse though, is basically guys, I went on the dark web and it was scary. It's like, it's like he's trying yeah. to make a YouTube video. It's a, I'm surprised it's like he hasn't video. told. I'm surprised he hasn't told the fucking investigator to smash like and subscribe. <laughs> it's like he's writing Jeff the Killer. Yeah. God. Yeah. This actually, like, somebody this in the feels like a creepy pasta. Somebody in the stream last time. I was actually because I'm a giant fucking horrible narcissist. I was actually rewatching some of it a little bit this morning, which gave me the idea to do this. And uh, and I saw some of the live chat was saying like this is too unbelievable to be true and i'm like well it is is the thing and the way that he writes this is it's like like you say it's like a creepy pasta um where it sounds like it's just some guy going i've seen horrors that you will never believe but it's like <laughs> it's some dude's explanation for why he be beheaded dogs and shit yeah i i, I think this is him trying like he doesn't really understand how it happened right he doesn't understand what's going on inside of him but, but this he's is what trying... he's trying to maybe attribute it to like yeah, it's like, sort of he, like he if you understand. didn't it's sort of like if you didn't know you had a problem and then you were trying to figure out why you had that problem that you don't think you have yeah um what he's doing here is he's externalizing the problem he's saying the problem didn't come from inside of me. The it problem was, came from Snuff outside Gorn of me. Gore. That was the problem. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, th this is this is what um, mothers of children who do awful things do, right? Like, this is how. Oh, you know, he started listening to that metal music, and that made him evil. Which is literally what he's doing to himself. You know, there are the mothers yeah. who say, "My perfect little angel would never do something like this unless but then something he played made him." Doom, and he he just decided that he wanted to shoot people. Because he played Doom. I always hated that because, like, anybody. Uh, people say Doom is satanic. It's like, bitch, what do you think the point of the game is? Sorry, I had to go off. But, yeah. But, like, yeah, no, that's, that is that is a lot like what this is. It's like this metal. Uh, what, what was it? Like, in the in the 80s, when people were blaming Judas Priest for suicide and shit like that. It's the like satanic panic. That's right. And that's basically exactly what he's doing to himself. <laughs> Except now yeah. it's like also this internet, like, deep web panic. I feel like that actually is like a, a bit of a calculated thing too, where he might be like, well, the people who are investigating this, they might've heard of the horrors of the deep web and I can like scare them and I can make them feel like I'm a victim. 
I think that he's trying to justify it to himself, right? On some I, level. I think that he's, he's trying to figure out how this happened, and he can't understand that maybe it's just some like it's him it's something yeah. inside of him this way he doesn't have to blame himself yeah that makes sense i don't know but at the same time i don't know if i really think that he i don't know real like still i don't know if he gets what he did exactly no he, he it's, doesn't like, it's it, hard it's, for me to believe like i I, I don't know, the power of stupidity, I guess, or just being mentally stunted as a person, where you have to go to such intense lengths to hide this shit. Everybody's got to go, you know, onto these weird apps and, you know, these secret groups and everybody's... There were there was people talking in the last stream about, like, oh, we've got a mole in the group, and they were still talking about fucking puppies, but because they're literally yep. just that stupid. And, and they... It's actually funny because they can't, like restrain themselves even if they know that there's somebody in the group who's leaking all of the shit they're saying they can't like restrain themselves from doing that um but, yeah it's but yeah the, the, like, the fact that it's terrible doesn't really register yeah but it's amazing because they have to go to such lengths to hide it and it's like why do you think that everybody would hate you if you if this was public you know like yeah, shouldn't like, you maybe we, know that this is a bad thing i don't know the these um these people know that this kind of thing is bad in the same way that the kid in the opening chapters of Brave New World knew that the Nile is the longest river. Yeah. Right? It, it, he's just um, he's just sort of like a, they're just parroting it back. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, that like it's, No, I get what you mean. He's just parroting it back. He doesn't understand it, there but was he's this, saying it. There was this kid I remember hearing about a while ago on um, might have been Telltale, I'm not sure which channel it was, but it was this kid who was like a child preacher or something. And he went mm. around the country and he did the circuits and he went on talk shows until, and he was like surprising people with his knowledge of the Bible and his, you know, way of speaking. And then somebody asked him a question about, well, what does what you're saying actually mean? And he just could mm -hmm. not describe it because it was just a bunch yeah. of words that were instilled into him by his parents. Yeah, exactly. So it's very similar to that, but um, it's the same. It's the same thing. Like they just they know the words. They know to say sorry, but they don't know what they're saying sorry for. Yeah. Um, where did we leave off? Pandora's box. Here um, we go. Okay. Um, I, I was gonna take the next two paragraphs. Go for it. I think. I was introduced to some people into Animal Animal sometime <laughs> later. The the what? things they did not. The things they did was not nearly what I had seen done to slash with humans and dead bodies. It was just some light and often faked bondage and dildo play. I was told this was cruelty. Only saw pictures of this and mostly pics of legs tied in normal position, not uncomfortable ones that I could see. Someone invited me to a group sometime later and saw more of the same. I looked the same stuff for months, not seeing anything new aside from old pics that were traded by people at times. I... Okay. Um, so he's, like, easing into this. Uh, one day... I, I guess. One day new people joined. They were shady people, capitalized. I guess they were of the shady clan. Um, <laughs> they posted hard pictures that even I had a hard time looking at. And I'm pretty fucked up! This was more similar to Zap Scred. What the fuck is that? Than anything else. And made to me what? wonder. What is Zap Scred? Let me see if I can. What, what, what do we got here? It's like Spider Man and Hulk. What the fuck? Ah, uh, fuck it. I, I, we we got to get through this. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just keep going. Then anything. It was more similar to Zap Brannigan than anything else, and made me wonder. <laughs> I, I, they came from there. Uh, one of them said to know the producer. Unlike everyone else, these people liked gore and cruelty and were secretive. One, uh, they would only say a few words from time to time. I didn't like those things even at that point, but I was just indifferent. One day, I was asked to produce two videos for them. They said everything they'd like to see. I had I had fear of what I heard. They said they would reward me with things I could not dream of. This is sounding like the plot to a Serbian film. Uh huh. Um. Oh, I 
it, I, I, I'm sorry. You said Zap, Ban- Zap Brandian, <laughs> and then the first thing I thought of was, was like, she's built like a Doberman, but she handles like a Drake. <laughs> <Like, laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that's was good. Bad. No, that's good. That's good. That's, that's not just me making the horrible jokes. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I let's see. I did as they wanted. It tore me apart, but did it. I cheated on them though, and lessened things. Yeah, I bet you fucking did, because that's because you're a consistent, habitual fuck. Uh, I lessened things as much as I could. What I got as reward were nightmares for weeks. Constant depression. Guys, I'm fucked up. I recognize what I did wrong, everybody. Constant depression and the inability to talk to, of this to anyone. Uh, they praised me for what I did, was more than happy in their own words. One day they vanished. Their account said, deleted. Uh, it took me a long time to recover. Other gore lovers said that I should not worry about it, that it was nothing. Um, maybe you take the next couple. All right, sure. I didn't do anything dark after that, but I did stay telling fake stories in a failed attempt to feel any better. My internal conflict had since increased ever since, but again, it was partially stopped by people telling me that it was okay and was nothing. I was living in a world of darkness. One day, everything was discovered. It didn't matter much until I heard people were very angry, to say the least. (laughs) God, I was Christ. somewhat incensed, but every, everyone disliked that. I was a little bit incensed <laughs> by that. This. You can tell when he's so where, frustrating. Yeah, because you can tell where he writes like everybody was angry, to say the least. It's like he knows that they were angry, but he, you, you can tell he just doesn't really get exactly why. But yeah, I, th- I feel like I feel like the the minutia of what it is that he did. I think he maybe understands that it's wrong. But I don't think he gets why it's wrong. He, I this, think he, he gets that people have a problem with it and that it's against the law, but he doesn't have like the morality in his brain that tells him that these things are wrong. I don't think that this person has taken and like, I, I, I'm trying to piece my like the sentence I want to say together. I don't think that this person has earnestly thought about anything that they have done in their life in their life right like yeah this person just goes from sensation to sensation like an animal he's an npc yeah a little bit he's just he walks and then like oh this input happened and then it's oh, actually the I way you like said that this the way you said it's like he's an he's like an animal is, is is interesting i could see the movie that's made about wolf having strong themes that contrast him with the animal inside he is that, he is kind I, of I could, I could he is kind of animalistic good. by nature yeah yeah it, it just uh purely driven by instinct yeah and desire yeah no matter how it's like up. i want this like i want this so i'm going to go get it and it's the kind of thing where like if he was like a wild wolf or whatever you know he would he would like kill his prey and he would eat his prey and he would like it would be bloody and it would be like brutal animal stuff because that's what animals do it's yeah. like he actually like, is like man that was on that was an on point that was on point that was thank very you astute. you're welcome i i mean <laughs> thank thank god my english degree is working <laughs> um one okay, all right here so I'll, they, they I'll, were uh, very sorry, angry the paragraph. To say, okay yeah yeah, yeah, there, there I see it. Thank you. I didn't understand why until I saw their comments, but even after that, I was still trying to figure out why they were so angry. God, again, he doesn't understand. It so took me it. two days to realize why. I was still looking at things from the angle of the dark people and world where I had been the last months. Those oh, dark look creatures like- look like they mean business. Sorry, continue. No, if, if you don't understand why people are getting so up in arms about this, it's not the company you're keeping. There's something in you well, that I think is what broken. What he's basically saying is that he got corrupted by the e- the evil yes. internet or whatever, and so that is that is the argument th- he's he is making. He's but I don't trying like. to do this like sympathetic, like tragic backstory thing where it's like I used to love dogs and play with them and frolic in the and tiptoe in the park with the dogs. And and then he got corrupted by the spooky, scary, dark web mystery box that he ordered, and now yeah. he rapes dogs. Let me... 
I'm convinced that this person like loved dogs and helped dogs and played with dogs because it made him feel good, right? It's not the sensation of earnestly making someone else feel good and happy or making another living creature happy. It's that those actions happen to make him happy. Yeah. And so he did them. There's no altruism in his actions. He can say that he loves dogs all he likes, but I don't think he loves dogs. I think that he loves the feeling that he gets due, uh, due to his lizard brain releasing endorphins when he is nice to a dog. You know, you say lizard brain, but I'm going to go with pond scum brain. I think that's more accurate. <laughs> but, um... I, 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 my, my point is I don't, yeah. I, I'm basically reiterating what I was saying before. There's nothing deeper going on. Yeah, it's, it's all very surface level. I like how we're like in yeah. depth. We're in depth critiquing this fucking like dog rapist's apology. <laughs> this is like yeah, a, I, this is, we're gonna give this an F grade at the bottom. We're gonna mark it up with all red lines. Uh, this we, we forget, <laughs> forgot a word here. Missed some punctuation. That's minus five points. <laughs> The moment I looked at things and facts from the angle of normal people was like a veil had been removed from my mind and eyes, and I cried alone for days, especially at night, because I understood the nature of the things I did. Do you want to keep going? Uh, sure. I regretted for everything and wrote a letter to an old friend. Here we go with the fucking friends again. I had friends, and they were fun, and I liked the friends. It was too late, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was beyond salvation. The world hated me, and I was a monster. An aberration of nature and all. But at least I was... It's like he's trying... He wants the person reading this to be like, No, you're not a monster. Yes, you are. You are. You yeah, are indeed a no, monster. That, I... I feel like he has abused multiple people, and this is the act he does. Is like, I feel so bad. I know you hate me. And the reaction he's expecting is, no, I don't hate you. I understand. He's done it so much that, like, this is his pattern. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm, like, trying to... I don't know, regain some sense of, 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 uh, I don't know, so, something, this really takes some shit out of you. I'm sure you felt that yourself. Yeah. It's exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Um, now we're just doing final fantasy music in the background. Cause of my <laughs> life. um, I, I was a monster, uh, but at least I was conscious of the things I did. I was free. Now I was n told to leave, hide and regroup. I said I'd stay and that I'd leave everything behind. Never again I'd step on the path of darkness and evil. Nothing could change the past, but maybe I could have a remote chance to change the future. I said to a good friend that I was <laughs> grateful to the people who called me a monster and that's, that stood up against me because it was thank to them that I saw my mistakes and I asked him to make my message public for everyone to see. Uh, <laughs> He's, he saw the mistakes in his actions, but not his spelling and grammar. <laughs> Sorry. Thank to them. Um, I, Thank to them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the... F oh, um, many bad people are sent to jail every day. Many are locked for years. But how many truly change their minds and regret the bad things they did? I don't have an answer for that. Um, sounds like you don't have an answer for a whole lot of shit. Um, you want to take the next couple? I don't know what the future will bring for me. I don't know if those who know hold power over me will really give me the opportunity to start a new life rather than burn me to ashes as revenge won me. What? 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 Rather, rather, I than... don't know if those who know hold power over me will really give me the opportunity to start a new life. I think he might have meant me to those who as revenge won me. I think uh, I think he meant now hold power over me and revenge on me. This is multiple, oh, oh. multiple cascading typos here. This is really quite something God. magical. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Right, right. <laughs> I think you're correct. But what I do know is that I have regretted for my past actions and that I credit and thank those who did everything in their power to find me and set me free. That is how it ended. Very Would you dramatic. like to close this out? Oh, yeah, we're almost done. Okay. Um, my advice... Look not only for the dark animals groups, but for the dark human groups. What? Hey, guys, it's, it's you don't need to just fuck animals. You can also fuck humans. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, those groups make you ready to do worst things you can think of. 
those places corrupt your mind and who you are and uh, who you are and are. <laughs> oh, and are like a draw. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, once you get in, you can't get out easy. I know the things I did cannot be undone or forgiven. You have the power to destroy me at any time. I'm just asking for a second chance. I'm no longer a threat now or in the future. But because you say so, do you really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies. Don't do as I did. <laughs> Please have mercy for that, which mercy did not have. Bitch! That makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no Thank sense. Thank you for closing it out on just some nonsense. Thank you. Okay, wow. Uh, so that was the wolf apology, I guess. I know we're in a stream about uh, what what the fuck is this guy's name Sephiroth or whatever. I know we're in a stream about him, <laughs> but uh, but you know we just needed to read. I think I'm probably going to put this up on. Uh, <laughs> probably going to put this up as just like its own separate video. I think. Um, yeah, that's th legit. That was the thing. Um, thank you very much for reading that with me. That was this. This was a pleasure. That was quite some. It's <laughs> quite some stuff. It was pleasure. Might be the wrong word it's for it. It's fascinating, though. An experience. Yeah, it's like the last stream where it's just... I, I don't know. It, there is this morbid fascination about how could somebody do this and think this way and, like, trying to wrap your mind around that is... is uh, it's, it's uh, Yeah, fascinating is the best thing I can think of. Like, I, reading these people's writing is so fascinating, right? I... Like, all I have is an undergrad, right? Mm. Like, that that's my education. I just have a literature degree. But, like, reading what these people are saying and, the, and there's a lot of subtext going on that they don't necessarily realize that they are writing. And to see it, to see the way that these people think is really fascinating to me. Because, like, it's it's such a different thought process. And it's... It's a chance to dip into a horrifying place without going too far. It's right? like watching a really bad, like fucked up movie, except it's unfortunately real. Yeah. So it's more like watching a, like a war documentary or something. <laughs> a, a, a little bit. <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, th thank you for joining the stream and making it all just a little bit uh, more tolerable. Uh, I really appreciate it. If, if you don't mind, I'm, I would like to uh, keep you here just a little bit longer while I read through some super chats, because I've got a couple requests for you and questions and things like that. Um, uh, sure. I hope that's OK. Um, let's see. So what oh, someone's saying they like my profile pic. If you like it, um, it was done by an artist named Anton Oxenuk. Let me see if hold on. Let, uh, let me link his or not link his Twitter, but because I can't link. but. Are you, um, hang on. How can I s say something in chat so I can mod you and you can link it? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll just, okay. um, copy paste his Twitter handle. All right. There we go. That's his Twitter handle. He's the person who did the art for the owl. It is very nice art. And anybody who is, uh, who is fond of the bear drawing, we have our, our girl, our home girl Zara to thank for that. She's in, she should still be in the chat. If she's not in the chat right now. Oh, but uh, <laughs> go check <laughs> go check out her Instagram. I think it's a uh, Zara Newton. But um, yeah, we got two euros from Kyo Rasen. Master Freddy is ready. Start. Freddy is Freddy is indeed ready. Uh, uh, they were trying to get your attention. <laughs> yeah, everybody was like shouting at me. Uh, five bucks <laughs> from Meeb. Thanks for the reminder of the chick who used to ride horseback with a butt plug tail. I don't remember saying that, but okay, you're welcome, I guess. Uh... <laughs> well, sure. Um, to slug Jelly with two bucks. Banjo Kazooie, but it's just Deadwing and Fred L. I told you. I said, I yeah. Banjo three finally happened, assholes, and it's it took a pretty fucking dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> go huh? there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> we've 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 done it um five euros from kyle rasen question for freddy when did you realize your voice is good for commentary oh uh, i didn't it was an accident yeah no, like the whole channel was it was an accident like it just kind of happened 
You just started yeah, making videos I, about stuff you liked, I, and then it just kinda... yeah. I, I I made my first video as like a portfolio piece to send for a job application at a game studio because they asked me to apply for like a PR position. Oh, cool. They never got back to me. Like I, I made that video in a fever, like the digital homicide video, in a feverish three days. Oh, that I was realized that I had made a video. Yeah, okay. I, I realized I hadn't made. Yeah, I always video in years. I always wondered about that one a little bit because it does seem pretty different from your average uh, content. You know, it's it's about like kind of not the biggest like, you know, rabbit hole, I guess. But it's it was, it was like pretty interesting. You know, I mean, I'm not saying the video was bad, but I'm saying like it's just very different it's, from like the other stuff. It's middling. It's, pretty, it's middling it's okay. and it's very different. I never noticed that it was I'll, I'll say I never noticed that it was like your first video. So that has to count for something. Oh shucks. <laughs> it's it's something. It was thrown together in three days and then like I, I just basically needed to show like, hi, I can talk. <laughs> yeah, it turns out you're pretty you're pretty good at it. You are good at reading the most horrible things on the internet. Good good job. I, I don't know if I'm good at it, but people like it. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, I used to fucking hate my voice and now people are like, ooh woo, da daddy and all this stuff. <laughs> it's like <You're> a, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your voice is really chill i well thank you i appreciate that it's the it's the uh the years and years of marijuana um well two years of marijuana but it's fine uh two i'm sorry i extended the stream out so long oh that's by the okay way. i have no plans or life so it's fine uh <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine um two uh, pounds from billy waller please welcome freddie nudson furry historian <laughs> <laughs> oh good <laughs> Fur internet historian yes um <laughs> two bucks from zombie jesus i want to watch but stream quality is tanking oh sorry sir well the stream quality did in fact tank the moment that we started like reading through fucking wolf <laughs> <laughs> no i'd say that's some of the best shit that's like with the music and everything it was it was pretty awful but the way he fucking wrote was like just amazing i, I don't know oh, <laughs> i wish we it's so uh, I just wish we I had something over it. I just wish we had something like that from Snake Thing filled with like ooh woos and colon threes. Yeah, <laughs> I want that. But uh, at least he's behind bars. Um, let's see. Five bucks from John Sorensen for making it to the big leagues on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. To, it's sort of like I, I don't mean to do the fan gush thing, but like, dude, you're in like Internet historian videos and shit. That is awesome. You are friends with the drummer <laughs> of one of my favorite bands. That is really awesome. So oh, uh, Mike. Yeah, he's awesome. I, no, I actually Mike is, Mike is a super sweet dude. Yeah, I, I watched some of his streams. I actually need to watch the semenology one that you did with him. Uh, oh, yeah. I hope you like that because it's people like, keep recommending that I do that. And now I can't oh, I can't steal the content anymore, <laughs> 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 but I've been meaning to see it. But like I haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, I was like, you, you are. I was amazed when I saw that you and him were like, because I, 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 I know that guy. <laughs> it's so weird. But, no, um, he's great. We hang out. Like we're actually gonna. We were planning on hanging out later tonight uh, because the next podcast episode is gonna be on Mobility Mary. Oh and we're going shit! Through all of we're we're going through and watching all of her videos and picking out the ones that we want to talk about. I think people mentioned her to me. I know uh, Josh from Kiwi oh, Farms talked he, about her. Oh my god, Mobility Mary would be absolutely perfect for your channel. Yeah, I don't know. I I think it might. She might be because I I. Nobody's going to she's like disabled, right? Yeah, Nobody's going to complain she, about me bullying the disabled fuckers. I've got no, that hook. No, no, <laughs> no. Definitely not. Yeah, it might work. Um, let me see. We were doing super chats here. Uh 2 bucks from Posey Cast, big big doinks. Yes, the biggest of doinks. Um looking big doinks and Amish. <laughs> Two bucks from Meadow Fembot. What insane degeneracy is in the bronies hiding? I don't know what that means, but God, God only knows. Can we do a, can, can you do a brony <laughs> video? I feel I've like gotten tons of requests for it. I feel like that's a perfect cause I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely, I don't know if you've seen some of the other stuff, the others, um, like a couple, I think the day before the snake thing stream, I talked about the ranger files, which are these people who are like insanely devoted to rescue rangers and gadget hack wrench who's like a disney mouse cartoon girl yeah yeah no and, um yeah the cult right like well they there's, have a two. Her. there's two there's two there's a there's, there's the, two there's the russian cult but then there's also these like 
internet people. And there's this whole separate sect of like rescue rangers stands. And I don't know if you've seen some of the other stuff about like the Smurf shit on, on this channel. Um, like the, if you, I, I hate to plug my own videos, but if you haven't seen, <laughs> if you haven't seen one called the Smurf story unedited, it's this weird, like, I don't know it, it put it this way. It was the most fucked up thing that I'd looked at before snake thing. It was this guy wrote this sadistic fucking story where he like was torturing Smurfs. Well, not like torturing them, but they were getting tortured and he was like there for it. And he was like, Oh, ooh, ooh, let me nurse you back to health. But then he would like leave the Smurf in clothes and it would like get burned in the dryer is really fucked up shit. And what the fuck? Yeah. And I remember we looked at that and then we looked at, um, we looked at this other, there's like this whole fucking, there's this guy named Vic George who was in this thread when this guy was writing the story. And he was like, I love that. That's so sweet. It's so nice and heartwarming. I feel so bad for these characters. This is such a sweet story and all this stupid shit. So we looked at him. This reminds up. me. Go ahead. Th this reminds me a lot of um, last podcast on the left. Just did love a series them. about this guy. What was his name? Let me see. Hold on. I can do this. We stand last uh, podcast it, on this on this channel. <laughs> i i don't like uh true crime most of the time it's yeah, just not my neither. thing but, but when they talk Last about cast is special when they talk about serial killers i i enjoy their way of like i forgot we had sangi on the screen the whole time <laughs> <laughs> oh no not the, not the whole time he, he wasn't there for the the reading but he's been there the whole time that the bear and the and the bear and bird <laughs> But um, but yeah, so we looked up um, all the Smurf stuff. There was this guy, Vic George, who wrote this like uh -huh. unbelievably like he uh, there's a stream where we talked about him specifically and he went through he has like 70 book length fan fictions about an OC Smurf that he invented that started in 1984 and he's still making them. He's like a elderly, ancient old man. And he's oh like God. devoted to Smurfs. And so I, I'm very fascinated with the brony thing. Like that seemed like the thing before was like, why are all these dudes like grown up men watching this cartoon for little girls? Dude, this has been happening for fucking decades. This has been happening since before the internet. There's just oh, some yeah. weird like thing in some people's heads. And again, I'm not really judging you if you like watch my little pony or whatever, but I, I, I well, I, I am a little bit, but you know, mm -hmm. but, um, it's like, there's just something in some people's heads that just makes them like weirdly fascinated. I guess it's like mental stunt stunting of someone's growth or whatever, but it's like, weirdly yeah, like fascinated with cartoon shit. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Like they're like online. You always see people like, Oh, I had a huge crush on, you know, this animated character, but in general, it's something that these people grow. Past. Yeah. No, it's not it's the same but with me. Like I, I had crushes on animated characters and shit back in the day, but sure. Like, but like these people, like, like the I don't guy, think that's, I don't think that's abnormal. No, the guy, but the guy that we talked about in the Ranger file stream was a dude with two kids and a wife who was like in his fifties. And he just found out about the fucking uh, rescue Rangers. I was going to say power Rangers. That's a whole, that, that would be <laughs> slightly less fucked up, even though I guess they are kids. Oh, but the, the power Rangers totally gave me a phobia. Oh yeah. When I was little. Oh yeah. Some like, of, like the monsters or whatever. Yeah, one one of the monsters. There was a scene um, where one of the rangers, in order to kill a creature with like a really tough hide, um, purposefully got swallowed, got vored by it. Ooh, woo. and then and then it showed like image of him in the stomach, and it's like all fuck? no, he's in it, he's in the stomach, and it's all lit and it's all fleshy, oh, and then damn. he cuts it from the inside but like that and like all the episodes of like going into the body in magic mm. school bus that gave me like i remember that oh, one yeah i could never oh my god and and by like we had 3d body works an old dos game like an educational dos game i couldn't play it so you're like it was pathologically horrible. a fear a, a feared of vor now is that what is that what you're telling yeah. me <laughs> yes okay well i can tell you some streams and not to watch them the body yeah. <laughs> So you never played Bowser's Inside Story is what I'm getting from this conversation. What? What? What's that? Oh, you don't know about uh, it's an official Mario and Luigi game called Bowser's Inside Story where they have to go inside Bowser and like 
Hunt. fight evil or something. I don't know. I think I Bowser's played the first inside story. I think I played the first Mario and Luigi a little bit, but not that one. Oh, I see. Like, I don't think it's a creepy vor game, but I think it is also. <laughs> and they didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, Nintendo. Oh. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I got off track. No, it's fine. I, I was just about creepy Smurf guy. Yeah, no, I was just saying like, I don't know. There's just it's fascinating because like, OK, with like people keep recommending fluffy ponies to me. They say that that's similar to the Smurf thing. It's like uh -huh. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's like this weirdly excessively fluffified pony. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I think I remember Flufflepuff, was it? I don't know. Uh, basically what it is, is it's like, um, if you just search for fluffy ponies, it's like these really like overly grotesquely cute ponies that are made to like suffer and are like tortured and shit. And it's really okay, weird. No, no, no. That's not what I'm thinking at all. Okay. Yeah. This is, this is some weird no. shit, but people tell me to look into that. They say it's similar to the, the Smurf thing that I, the Smurf in hand story. I, th I think it was called. And, uh, Oh, great. And, uh, but they tell me to look at that, but I'm always, my response is always like, well, I know that pony people are fucked up. I'm, ex I'm expecting the worst from pony people. They can't surprise me. <laughs> but with I wasn't expecting that kind of shit with Smurfs. It's like with, you know, everybody knows that Sonic has all this crazy shit on the Internet. It's fucking Rescue Rangers. Smurfs. What? OK. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I was just saying, like, for a, a potential like uh, brony down the rabbit hole could could be interesting just to sort of like try to figure out where the the genesis of that comes from i mean i guess it is just like a mental yeah. stunting thing i don't know but it's it's, it's interesting I, I i feel like it, it depends right I, I think it depends uh from person to person a lot yeah some like, people, how, like how deep do they get into it like, is it just like yeah some people i know watched it with like their nephews or, or their nieces or their daughters or whatever and uh they're they're uh you know, they got into it because apparently it, it does have some like in jokes, uh, I guess. I don't know. It's got some. Oh, no, it's funny. Like I, I, I watched the first two seasons and then I got bored. Uh, oh, but it's, God, it's funny. No, it's, really, it, it's it's like Powerpuff Girls in okay. a lot of ways. I remember being super embarrassed for loving that show growing up because I'm like, oh, it's a girl show. But no, it was like made specifically to like appeal to a wider demographic. I remember my fucking dad teased me because I got a Powerpuff Girls Happy Meal toy and my dad teased me. So I think oh. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. No, that that show was fucking great. OK, so I, I'm willing to accept that my, my little pony might have like a bit of merit on its own, like legs, you know, four four hoofs and all. But uh, it's, it's not for everyone. It's really saccharin. Right? Yeah. In a lot of, in a lot of ways. I think that's what people get drawn into is like it's so saccharine and often uncomplicated oh god apparently there's selfies and oh the art and selfies there's fan art of us okay well oh, god. <laughs> already what the fuck happened that's exciting you, uh, you fuckers work fast yes they're very fast fuckers there's already art of you and fred okay <laughs> what do we got here the sicko army is currently how, hey you fuckers how are you what are you doing in a voice call you fuckers, you're supposed to be watching my... Ah, uh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? I'll put this up on the stream. Oh my god, wow, okay. This is perfect! It's got Jack Daniels in it and everything! This is amazing! Oh no. This is the perfect... Okay, well, we gotta... We're, we're, you know, we'll close out the stream with this on the screen. Uh, let me... All right, perfect. Let me... I still have some more. Somebody paid me $20 for you to do something. I'm not going to say what it is yet because it's going to be a surprise, but it's, okay. it's going to be exciting. Uh, I feel like, by the way, you shouldn't pay me for him to do something, but I'm not <laughs> complaining. I'm not complaining. But um, yeah, what do we got here? This lovely piece of fan art here from um, the Chimeric Akuma. It's, it's you it's <laughs> as Kazooie in my backpack. <laughs> and I've I've got the hook and I've got the bottle of Jack Daniels. That is wonderful. That is so wonderful. That's I'm gonna, so I actually love this. I'm gonna put this over. Sorry, Sangi, but you're gonna get covered up. Um, 
Nah, you're not getting covered up. Sangi, Sangi is this, a journalist. This is fantastic. It's very good. Yes, I like I like it very much. I especially like the Jack Daniels. <laughs> It, it, it's it's a perfect i like how it's just photoshopped in there that is wonderful it's good yes this needs to be your collab thumb absolutely blessed <laughs> <laughs> this is, just this is wonderful. actually great thank you very much for making this chimeric akuma um let me let me finish out the super chats here we got uh let's see yeah, yeah. two bucks from posy cast hail satan but damn don't blank dogs dude um <laughs> White girls fuck dogs. They really fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Bane Fuzu in chat. Uh, he made a video like a like a year ago or something, like longer than that, where he was talking about Whitney, Wisconsin, and the entire thirty minute video. If you don't know, she's a white girl who fucks her dog. But in the entire thirty minute video, yep. he just has white girls fuck dogs in the background, <laughs> and it got stuck in my head for a little while. Um, let's see, mysterious, so catchy. It's very catchy. Mysterious Senor Hilter with two bucks. This this letter reminds me of CWC's email to Megan. Yes. We mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. It was just very like, hello, I'm sorry. Please forgive. Um, only two. Uh, uh, Archive the Wolf with two bucks. Only two. The cops found numerous dog corpses. I, I guess he's referring to uh, the the only two times that, that Wolf uh, was bad. Or whatever he only said. Only twice. Only twice. Um, <laughs> Ten bucks from Dis Dan Dan. Oh, oh shit! I I missed the one from Fuzu. Ten bucks from Fuzu. Holy fucking shit! Fred and Claw. Holy fucking shit! Ah! I chose to <laughs> I chose to interpret the string of A's as a metal scream. Uh, <laughs> ah, it's Halloween! Ah! Oh, that's very good. <laughs> We got a, we oh, got, thank you. You can be on my next song. It'll be great. Um, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we, you, you can play the hurdy gurdy on my next song. We got 10 bucks from yeah. this Dan Dan. Greg is only around again because of all the controversy plus FBI shit. Big YouTubers made him relevant again and he's milking it all he can. Don't give him Wait, more who's fame. On, who's only around? Uh, Oni Siani he's talking about. Oh, D- yeah. Don't give him more fame than he doesn't deserve, infamous or not. I no, disagree. No. I disagree to the extent that he's doing abusive shit and needs to be. People need to know because he he has a fan base that he is specifically like fucks with and he they're young. Yeah. They're young people and it needs to be as known as possible. If you search for Greg Jackson or uh, Onision. Yeah, it's, that he that, tried that, to chain a woman. The... up. He tried to chain a woman up in his basement for three days. But well, he wanted to and get her to mm. tattoo uh, that she was a liar because she smoked weed once and that was against the agreement. He's a pretty fucked up guy, so it's worth talking about him. But I agree that he is milking it. So, I mean, it's for sure. Yeah, you don't need to be that excessive, I guess. Five bucks from Lucas Cox. My in-laws are Cuban. And from what they've told me, Cuba isn't great to its natives, but try to put on a face for tourists. Yeah, Mm. Mm, I've heard similar things. Two bucks from Michael from uh, Seattle. What a vulgar people these furries are. Hey, boys. Hello, hello, sailor. Um, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're very vulgar people. Uh, you know, especially the OOs and the colon threes, uh, 20 bucks from goof troop. Ask Fred to go just like that. It's, it's specifically W R R R R Y Y Y Y Y Y. So I think it's like the, the D O re the, the D O the re that, that thing. I think that's what he's asking uh, for. I, I, I've never, I've never heard it. Hold on. Um, you got to fucking. You, you, okay, you're, here we you're go. Being here put we go. on the spot. Uh, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> it was I, Dio. Oh, this is. Oh, this is a different one. Uh, I don't know if it is the Dio one. I think that's what he's I'm. I'm, I'm trying to find it. Uri! You could also just do the 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 other re. That's also that one. Oh, no, she did. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's like <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. I, I hope it makes him happy. I, I, I just, I, I had to go and look it up. It, like that, it was pretty good. I mean, it was pretty good. Whatever it was, it could have been used during the the anime villain segment <laughs> earlier. <laughs> um, <Okay. laughs> thank you very much for the twenty bucks, uh, Sean Hiruki with a dollar ninety nine. I miss the grim archives. Um. 
that was a um a very like a two episode animated series on um cryptids that i did with animator yeah. ben tobit I, very, yeah. I vaguely remember that one yeah yeah it just didn't it didn't have the name recognition of down the rabbit hole so unfortunately i couldn't really it like could keep have. doing it I mean, it could have not, not at the time I was trying to grow my channel and oh, like yeah. down the rabbit hole was kind of the thing that was getting attention. So like, yeah, I uh, similarly, I started fun, fun fact about the channel. I started uh, with the name Internet Insanity and then two episodes in, I realized, wait a second, d doesn't that other guy, uh, Mr. M Meat Man or whatever his name? Oh, Mr. Medicare. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's been doing Internet Insanity for five years or something. OK, well, never mind that one then. And I had to go for like internet absurdity. And now I just like forget most of the time <laughs> to even give my videos like a, a series title. So they're just like, whatever. Mm. Uh, but it's uh, just it's, it's, the, it's a dead wing video. That's eh, fine. Yeah, you know, from the bear and the general depression. Um, Ten bucks from <laughs> zombie Jesus. Despite the constant buffering, I did watch. Oh, were we like fucking up? I've got no drop I frames. No, there. I, I, no, I have um, the stream up. It's not you. Okay, uh, that's good. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry to hear that it wasn't perfect though. But uh, Sean Hiruki with five bucks. Also, everyone should read the Ravages of Time manhwa. I don't know what that means. It's hyper violent dynasty warriors, and it's awesome. Okay, um, five bucks from uh, Zach Carter. Brendan, are you going? Oh, we're getting first named here from. Okay, Zachathy. Zachthony, <laughs> Zachthony Fantano, uh, Brendan, are you going to ask Fred Boy if he'd like to join our Discord? Uh, would you like to join the Sicko Army, sir? Become yeah, a sure. Okay, I'll add you to the to the to the Sicko Army. I I, I probably won't participate much. Probably I, not. I have I have trouble participating in servers. Yeah, I'm I'm in Bane's server too, uh, and I don't think I've ever posted there a single time because it's like, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I have to deal with all of this stuff and the people and it's not that it's a problem dealing with with people. I'm just saying it's like it's a lot. It's a lot, you know, um, mm -hmm. so I totally I get that. But uh, let me see here. I, I get exhausted. Oh, I can't keep up with so many like fucking, groups. We are not fucking inviting her to the group, but uh, welcome. <laughs> You're now uh, I think. Did, did you get the thing? Uh, yes, okay, you I got it. He's he's here. It's him, boys. It's him. It's really him. I can I can, I can feel <laughs> myself losing air. OK, the first message we get is just Gabe being. See, this is good. This is a good first introduction to the thing. OK, everybody is typing. <laughs> right. yeah. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, if you too would like to join the sicko army discord, it is a Patreon thing, but uh, for as little as two bucks a month. But Sometimes people spam links in the chat. Sometimes mods do it. I don't know. Watch oh, the good. it's incentive to watch the streams more. You might get a you might get a mm -hmm. link, but but Frederick Knudsen is uh is uh has special nepotism privilege, so he gets in ahead of you. Sorry. Aw oh, shucks. Yeah. 